Hi, buddy. Got the laser. So that's going to be sweet. Mm -hmm. Get the barrel installed. What's this? For me? So for lunch today, I made venison steak. I put it on the Traeger. If you don't have a Traeger, that's totally fine. A grill will work. Yesterday, I marinated it, which you'll see right now. And we're back. It's like magic, right? And then I also made Brussels sprouts. I cut them in half and then take the, the leaves on the outside that fall off, off, put them on the cookie sheet on parchment paper, and I sprayed them with, with spray oil. You don't have to go crazy with oil. Use the right seasoning, which I used the Bragg's all-purpose seasoning. I put those in the oven for 350, or at 350, and I started at 25 minutes, but they needed a little bit longer, so I added another 15 minutes. It seems like a while, but because you're not using that oil, they do take a little longer to cook. So I'm really excited because I'm so hungry. Josh is mowing. We have been cleaning all day today. Our lives kind of got thrown for a loop a few months ago and we haven't really been home since then. So we're kind of decluttering. Um, like I said, Josh is outside mowing. It's been a crazy day already, but it's good. It's good, good, good. All good. So and super huge shout out to everyone who's been interested in the Bali thing. We're really excited. I got an email from the resort yesterday that she's so overwhelmed with how many people, overwhelmed in a good way, with how many people are emailing her. And she's excited, we're excited. Bali's gonna be amazing February 5th through 11th. I'll put another link if you haven't already seen where to go. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. So getting this bod for Bali. I also have to brag on Josh because I told him I wanted my wreath hung that his stepmom made me and he did it while I was getting ready. Oh, swoon. How sweet, right? Hmm, they're getting festive. Oh, that's really good. So we've been cleaning for the past like two days and I'm trying to do laundry. This is what I find. Are you helping? Hmm? I have to wait for my laundry to be done before I can fold and put it away, yada yada yada. I have some bills to pay. Josh is finishing mowing the lawn and leaf blowing at the same time. But I need a snack. And there are some like little diet like hacks, I guess you could say, to make dieting not suck so much. So for my snack, I am going to do cucumber and then I'm gonna put like this popcorn seasoning on it. Don't go crazy with the seasoning because while it says it's only two calories, there's 100 servings in it. So you, it's probably a little easy to go crazy with it if you're not conscious of what you're doing. In the night store and it's amazing. However, like I said, there's 100 servings in it, there's two calories per, so use it very, very, very sparingly. It is strong, so it'll go a long way. So I'm just gonna slice up some cucumbers, put this on it, have a snack while I pay bills, work on some emails, all that fun stuff. Time for me and little Jerry. Pay some bills. Hello. What do you think? Then, right. I have to make some phone calls because we are coming to Indianapolis January 10th through the 12th. And we'll be doing a group workout the morning of the 11th. So I have to find a gym who will accommodate us. So, which will be fun. Stay tuned for details on that. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna eat. 
see you in the next. In an older YouTube video, Josh and I went through some of the supplements that we take and that company that we are affiliated with, they not only sell incredible vitamins, but they also sell incredible skincare. So the other day, Josh and I were fortunate enough to receive like an early promo special on their customized skincare. And I am actually, like I have nothing on right now, but I am not the most confident person when it comes to my skin. I don't have good skin. I also don't really like do a lot of makeup things. So for me, like I really want to start super, super, super taking care of my skin because I'm not like some makeup person or anything. So I want to feel confident in my skin. I'm sure everyone else does too. I have a lot of acne scars from when I was younger. I used to tan a lot as well, which obviously is not good for you. Hello, Jerry. So hopefully this will help it. You basically go through and answer like a ton of questions on your skin type, your you as a person, and then there's different cartridges that combines all your skincare together. So eh, get out of there. Mary and I have to go to the vet in like an hour. She doesn't know it yet, but she's been, um, when she sits, she like hover, she like favors her, her right paw and she doesn't set it on the ground. So we're gonna go make sure she's okay. But before that, I am going to make um, a crock pot recipe that will be really good for dinner tonight and then also for hopefully lunch tomorrow if there's enough. Josh eats a lot, so it's kind of hit or miss with how many, how much extra we will have. Jerry made the leap, so it should be good. So I am going to be using um, my turkey breast from the wild turkey that I got in Nebraska a few days ago. Um, we went out there for a hunting trip. I was fortunate enough to get a turkey and so that will be what I use for this recipe. Um, also gonna use like onion, celery, some spices, things like that. It's gonna make a really just good hearty meal. So let's get started. We're starting with our crock pot. We're gonna spray the bottom of it and then we're going to add um, about like 10 celery stalks. Josh loves celery and things because it adds that extra crunch. So we're gonna do a lot of celery. So cut up some celery stalks and then we're gonna add some baby carrots, some onions, and then the turkey breast. And you wanna tell the camera what you're doing? So we just got in the mail a new protein sample and uh, it smells pretty good. Let's see. Jerry, get out of the way. Jerry, go. Jerry, oh, come here. Yeah, Daddy's being mean, I know. Oh, don't you be siding with Jerry. I'm always nervous to try these. Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It's actually really good. Right? Isn't that good? Tastes more like birthday cake than vanilla. Yeah, it definitely tastes like birthday cake. That's the goal. We're trying to make liquid cake. Yeah. Fancy box. Box is what the serums will go in. No, it's like this, baby. Yeah, I know. And then you put your hand underneath it, and then bloop, 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 bloop. We have all of our cartridges, and now we're doing, are you doing your assessment? Do we do the assessment first? Yeah, do the assessment right now. Someone pooped in their cat carrier. Go on. You all right, shoddy? Okay. What's that puffy tail doing? Let's go, Jer.
quick Jerry update. She's fine. She just has a few calluses on her toe pads. So it's causing her to hold her paw up. So we have some chews for her. And we get to give her Omega oils for the next two months. So pretty. Mm -hmm. We did. Can I just say this after the gym over some quinoa or some rice? Mm. Plot twist. We're not going to the gym. We're gonna go get a treat meal because it took us an hour to get to the gym and there was no parking. We legit can't go to the gym because there's no parking. There's literally There's a million no people parking. in Easton right now and I have no idea why. I wonder if they're like, it's a Christmas parade or something. There's Anyways. something going on. It took us an hour to drive 15 minutes. So we were on a business call for 45 minutes and then we still weren't even there. So we're gonna go stuff ourselves with salad at Olive Garden. We're gonna go to the Olive Garden, the OG. Second plot twist. We remembered we don't like people, so we're gonna oh, go get, home. get out of here. No, we didn't go to Olive Garden because there was a 35 minute wait and I'm starving. Yeah, and so now it's been an hour. You know what, I don't even wanna talk about that. But we ordered cheeseless pizza and we got um, cookies to make at home. Okay, just so you guys see what we got. Cheeseless pizza loaded up. And I got a Hawaiian on the bottom. When should you have a treat meal? When? Well, as you diet, um, leptin in your body starts to lower. And leptin is basically in charge of a bunch of different things. One of the things it's in charge of is releasing fat burning hormones. So when your body releases less fat burning hormones, then your body keeps burning less and less fat. So this happens as you go into a calorie deficit and you stay there for too long. Because again, your body doesn't want to lose weight. Um, it only does when it has to. So it tries to regulate that um, fat loss with leptin. So as your leptin levels drop, you get to a certain point to where your fat loss is going to stall. So this could be, I don't know couple weeks you know but what I typically like to do with clients is about once every six to seven days um, you have a calorie surplus and each person is different that's why I can't say hey every seven days do this you know if your metabolism is faster than everyone else's you know you could probably do every three days but the point is is by giving a calorie surplus in your diet you spike your leptin levels therefore spiking your ability to burn fat and percentage-wise, it's like 20 to 30% greater fat burning the following day um, after a treat meal. So that's why scheduled treat meals are extremely important is because you can actually get more of a calorie burn if you do it right. Now what happens is most people do a treat day or a treat week and a treat couple of days. Weekend. <laughs> yeah, and this is whenever the those all those gains and all those all that progress that you had made in that week is now gone. Yeah. So it's important that you regulate it. Phone call. Phone call. We should be able to kill the tank out of there. Nestle Tool House. Date night. Oh. Day two. Day two. <laughs> same outfit, because it was sweet. You wearing the same outfit? Yes. Nice. <sighs> it's cold. Oh I my think gosh. we should probably start taking our pre-workout. It's cold. So we are going to sign up in a new gym today. We're still gonna go to Lifetime, but this one is like 20 minutes closer. We usually try like, what, 30 minutes, 35 minutes-ish? Yeah. So this gym's a lot closer. It's in LA Fitness. Hopefully they let us film. I'm lifting arms today. You're filming your chest workout? I sure will. Yep. Alright guys, so I'm gonna put you through my chest workout today. You're gonna go through my whole routine, so start to finish, let's have some fun. First up, foam roll. I always stretch a ton before I work out. I at least, I at least spend 10-15 minutes stretching. And uh, it's, it's actually extremely important, so make sure you do it. What I always 
like to do as well is do a few pull-ups, stretch out the joints, and, and do some uh, different mobility things. So it is now time to actually start the lifting. First up on today's chest workout is going to be a hundred dips. Now I'm using the GHD machine, which is an ab and lower back exercise machine, but I'm going to be using the handles because I like the way they're positioned. That's 80. 20 more. Okay, next step, instead of doing normal bench press, which there's nothing wrong with that, I'm going to do an ISO bench press machine. I'm going to utilize it to where I can do just single arm stuff. And um, I love doing this because I really feel like it hits my inner chest more. And uh, I'll show you guys how I do this. Again, you're, I'm just going to position myself sideways on the bench, utilize one arm at a time. And I think you guys are going to like this. It's pretty fun. I have to drop a little bit of weight here. So I keep my rest under 30 seconds. I got a clock right there, I can see. all my sets are to failure. So, did 10 cable flies the first time, superset it with 10 cable presses. In the second set, to avoid dropping weight, I just dropped my reps, which isn't always necessarily better. It's just what I'm doing today. And I did eight cable flies with eight cable presses. So again, I'm gonna try to keep that eight and eight doing four sets. Let's take a breather and see what Sarah's doing. Sarah's getting some arms in. Guns are looking big, babe. Some tricep extensions. Nice. For me, I'm gonna go do some TRX work. My battery's about to die on the camera. I think I stretched too long. So, if the battery does die, I'm doing some TRX push-ups with my feet in the actual bands. And they'll be decline. You guys have probably seen me post this before.